All right, so this XOR function is one that I was wondering, um, how would you use this? Okay, it's a new function in Excel 2013, and when I started searching for XOR, I started, uh, I'll start, uh, you know, Google say, how do people use XOR? I got all these programming uh, explanations. So what XOR is, is you have multiple options and only one condition can be satisfied, right? So true is where one condition is satisfied, false, none of the conditions, also false if more than one condition is met, right? Because or, the regular or, you're just looking for, you know, if you've got 10 options, one, two, seven, all 10, as long as you've got one, it's going to give you a true. But here I hypothesized, what if you have some agreement where these are in structures and these are courses divided into two groups? And they say, you have to teach a minimum of four in the red section or a minimum of two in the yellow section, not both. And so that's what's happening here where we have a true. There are one, two in the yellow section and one in red. So what happens if we do two? Okay, so now we've got four in the red and two in the yellow now is turned false and we go and say hey wait a minute and it might be a situation of um you know, you're hogging up classes from your other other people or we're not paying you for those or whatever the situation might be but the issue is you can do either four or five here or two or three here and we see here there's a false. This person is not satisfying either of the criteria. This person, Billy, is false because he's got four here and two here. So we say, Billy, you know, come on, knock it off. All right. And then we say that Caitlin, okay, now Caitlin is true because she is meeting the criteria. And how I do that, we have the XOR function. And we say count A, B9 through F9 here. If that is greater than or equal to 4, or G9 to I9 greater than 2. So we've got one that would be true, and the other one is false. And so overall, it is a true. All right. And that is my tip. And I'm going to come back here. All right. And um, I'm going to give that three srirachas. Um, three out of five. Because I don't know how many people would really need an X or, but it's nice to know that it's there. And there are some situations where you do have an E or you know, like maybe if you're managing um, holiday schedules and people have to do something, but they can't do everything. You know, you, you aren't going to all of the holiday pay and, you know, uh, whatever. So there you go. All right.